Hey guys, this is Sean Sanders. Thank you so much for clicking onto my channel. So just hit that like button, just get it over with. Hit that like button now and tell a friend about me. So today is Monday and many of you, like me, are waiting for the Queen's Court to come on. So if you are not familiar with the Queen's Court, it is a YouTube sensation, a breakout sensation on Facebook Live and on YouTube. It's with T.S. Madison and Queen Kaya and they do roasting and gagging and a lot happened while they were on hiatus and I am waiting for it. Now let me just tell you one. I got some really disturbing news, some really um, news that I really can't control but it left me with my spirit really um, sad and heavy. So watching the Queen's Court tonight I need this. I need something to just lift up my spirits. And so what I wanted to do was something a little bit different. Now, I know that a lot of people are going to review the Queen's Court when it's done. I don't want to do that. I want to have a preview party. So that is what we're doing today. So it's uh, evening time. A lot of you are probably getting off work. You're going to feed your kids and get settled in. And we're going to have a preview party. So. I already uh, got my snacks because I said, what snacks are you going to have? So, say Sean Bradley already told me his snacks. I wrote them down. And in the comments, I want to know what your snacks are. So, he has chicken and the biscuit, which I have not eaten in forever. Cheese to go with the chicken and the biscuit. Uh, peanut butter, Oreo cookies. Uh, a box of Crunch and Munch. And going to wash it down with some watermelon cherry V8 Splash. Now those are good snacks. So I'm gonna tell you what my snacks are. Now, I have a tickle in my throat. I'm gonna hydrate, so right now I'm drinking lots of water. But, <laughs> because it's gonna be fire tonight, I got my flaming Hot Funyuns. Now these are choices, I don't know how I'm gonna feel. I got some spinach dip. I got some Ritz crackers to go with my spinach dip. I have, uh, some shorts ginger ale. I'm gonna be fancy and put a little lemon on, in it. I'm gonna chill this because I'm gonna to toast for the celebration that's going to be the roasting, reading, and gagging tonight. Some Oliver uh, soft blush red uh, wine. And to top it all off, some hostess apple pie. Now, for those of you who, who really know me, knows what my favorite drink is. And of course, I cannot get it. It's non-alcoholic and it's my favorite drink in the whole wide world. Anyway, uh, those are my snacks. Put it in the comments below what your snacks are because I'm gonna have all my stuff spread out and I'm gonna have my blanket and everything. And just like Sean, I'm gonna sit and watch it on the big TV downstairs in my living room. And I am gonna have, as far as rocks say, a funky good time. Anyway, so for the previews, okay, so there's my snacks. So another thing I wanna do for this preview party is who is going to make the docket? So this is gonna be the predictions. Who is going to make the first Queen's Court docket of 2018. So here is my list. In no particular case, in no particular order, but let's let's just let's just talk about what's going to happen, right? So a lot happened. I'm not going to go into it, but a lot happened over the weekend um, during this escape uh, tour, the last tour, and T.S. Madison and Kaya got thrown out. Okay, a lot happened, and I was reading the comments, and T.S. Madison uh, was going back and forth in the comments with several people, and then they went radio silent, and then I saw on IG, um, T.S. Madison was printing out the docket. So, who do you think is going to make the docket? Okay, so I, you know, they say all is fair with in love and war, and there's a lot of casualties in war, so... The people that I'm naming aren't necessarily going to be the target, but there are going to be some casualties, some some people who are just going to go in the mist. So, I don't have these in particular order, but here we go. One, Escape and Candy. Lots going to be talked about them as a group, 
and Candy's gonna be talked about specifically. Number two, Nate Stewart with a Z, who is also a friend of Keisha Kaor. And um, from what we understand from all the IG back and forth, is someone who was very deliberate in why T.S. Madison and Kaya did not go on stage. All right, Tamar and Vince, Laura Govan, and the Govan sisters now. Of course, there was this big thing about Tamar and Vince and all of this alleged domestic violence, and supposedly she went on a rampage, she called names, Laura was a casualty, her sister Gloria came in also to uh, talk about her. Oh, and we're gonna add in uh, Laura Govan's ex-husband. And why is it Tamar and Vince were shown coming down the, uh, out of the uh, airplane uh, when there's so much of this protection of you know order type of stuff allegedly and um, supposedly they are toxic, okay? All right, number four. I know this is going to be talked about. Mariah Carey's performance, uh, New Year's Eve, lackluster at best. I would say probably mm, for the average person, good karaoke. So I'm sure that's going to be talked about. Now, this I just snuck in because I just had a conversation with one of my employees. And evidently, Keisha Kaor, who's also kind of a bystander and collateral damage, um, with this whole debacle with uh, the last tour um, of Escape. Um, evidently, she just had a birthday and it was mentioned on IG um, that she wanted a baby as a birthday present. So, is Kaya going to um, bring up the fact that it took her forever to produce the children that she already has and now she's asking for a baby? That'll be interesting. Now, honorable mention, what I would like to see, and I had a long conversation about this at work, Remy Ma, she needs to be on the docket. Why? Because this is how I feel about it. I've never really discussed it before. I'm just an observer. But how is it Cardi B is having the best year ever after t almost two years of being recognized by everyone and Remy Ma who is by her admission the baddest and who is a battle rapper and who was in prison for years didn't drop anything hot now we can talk about Sheether and all that blah 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 while she's busy trying to make beats or beefs she wasn't making beats right and this is what I was saying uh, in the conversation. You've been in prison for what, seven years? And Papoose was out? Why didn't he have producers, mixers, and other people ready to drop an album when you got out? Okay? If you were on house arrest, I mean, everything's technology now. Where was all of your music? Like, where was all of your rap? Now, you had nothing else to do in prison but to eat your hour out for recreation and writing. You should have volumes, volumes of songs that you could put out an album. Beyonce was on tour and when nobody was watching, she produced a whole album and dropped it on everybody. And nobody knew about it until it was too late. Even the record label I don't think knew about it. So Cardi B is having the best year ever an IG person, uh, someone off of Instagram, and she took her her, her, her her moment and she's riding. And Remy Ma is still talking about securing the bag. I needed you to secure some songs, some beats, some something. So I think Keisha Kaor will be on the docket. I'm sorry, Remy Ma will be on the docket. Now, the last thing I want to do. <laughs> I told you guys, I had a really rough day today. Now, any of you guys that have been watching uh, the show knows that Wendy Williams has a very long government name that T.S. Madison and Kaya has given her. Okay, so let's go over the official government name as it stands. Wendy Wendell Bartholomew Orenthal 
Rufus Clyde Williams. This is the best part of the preview party that I'm going to wrap up and I want you to put your names down. I did come up with five, but I got so inspired. I decided to come up with the top 10 names that I think they will put on the docket should Wendy Williams show up again. Now, she may not show up today, but all I'm asking is if you hear any of these 10 names, I just want bragging rights. I just want bragging rights. All right, so we're gonna go the top 10 names that Kaya and T.S. Madison will choose to add to the docket should Wendy Williams come on. All right, you ready? Number 10, Albert. Number nine, Otis. Number eight, Oscar. Number seven, Leonard. Number six, Clarence. Number five, Bernard. Number four, Ernest. Number three, Jethro. Number two, Tobias. And my favorite, because I've even sent this one to them on IG, the number one name that I think they will put on the docket for Wendy is Roscoe. <laughs> Roscoe. So, you tell me if you like those names, if you come up with any names, and we're just gonna have a good old time because I really needed this. All right, so enjoy this preview prediction and the fun and festivity that's going to go on tonight, I know I'm going to have a good time. I will not be reviewing the, the Queen's Court. I will be sitting back and watching everyone else's review. This is what I have to offer. You know, just like the Oscars have their pre-party, all these award shows have their pre-party. This was my pre-party for the Queen's Court. So, there you have it. Take care of yourself and each other, and let's have a good time. Bye.